the worst crisis in Burundi. Since the end of its civil war in 2005, a crisis triggered by President Pierre Nkurunzinza's bid for a third term. He's branded this an insurrection. At least 30 people have been killed in five weeks of almost daily clashes. The protesters claim Kurunzinza's attempt to cling to power breaches the constitution, but the president says he is within his rights. The constitutional court agrees. The presidential election is set for 26th of June, the parliamentary poll for the 5th of June. With a week to go, there is no indication the capital is preparing to vote. The ruling party says Kurunzinza is campaigning in the countryside. Opposition parties say they are not participating. How can we take part in this election when we are not even in the capability of campaigning? Our rights are just uh, dismissed by Nkurunziza and his, his collaborators. The ruling party dismisses those allegations. Well, the opposition and the international community say with the prevailing situation, the country is simply not ready for elections. The president, though, is unyielding. The Electoral Commission, too. It says it's ready, and those who want to boycott the polls are free to do so. Those people can say what they want, so people can stop the campaigns for various reasons, but there's only problems in Bujumbura. But money is a worry. International donors have suspended their aid for the vote, and Kurunzinza has turned to the public for donations, and he's looking for a lot. We're expecting $39 million from our partners, but for the whole exercise, we need $60 million. So what we are doing is scaling down our expenses and our needs so that we work with what we have. Well, it's not clear how many people have responded to the president's plea for money or whether they plan to turn out on the 5th of June to vote. Finding anyone to talk in camera in this city is difficult. Most are simply too scared. Chin Keo, CCTV, Bujumbura, Burundi.